Hey everyone, today we are going to be taking a look at whether or not we can cut shrink film with a laser cutter. Now if you've never used this stuff before, it's a thin plastic film that once baked at 300-350 degrees, it shrinks uh, probably 50% in size, 75% in size within a matter of seconds. So the, the question here is whether or not you can use a laser cutter that burns through material to actually cut the shrink film without it shrinking or distorting heavily uh, before it's done. We're going to go ahead and cut off a, a uh, slice of this shrink film with the scissors. Just in case I ruin it completely, I don't ruin the entire sheet. I've got a pattern cut out that is going to do a bit of engraving in the middle. Uh, it's going to have some sort of, I don't know what kind of pattern you'd call it, but it's, it's a pattern in the middle that is going to hopefully not cut all the way through, just engrave on the surface. And then it will uh, cut out the square around the outside. Now, uh, you can see here, right off the bat, it is not actually cutting or doing anything. This is because I had my power on my laser set too low. I had it set to about 10% power at, I think this is 40 millimeters per second. And 10% power seems to be just too low for my to actually activate my laser. Um, I find that 15% power is the bare minimum uh, before you start getting a stable laser output. However, the border here is cutting out just fine. I've got that at about 20% power at 20 millimeters a second and it seemed to have cut through just fine without any warping or issues which is a good sign. This is a good start. You can see here that it doesn't appear to be warped or anything like that. So we need to still test out the engraving. We'll go ahead and try again. We'll get this moved over and I will up the power on the uh, engraving section to 15% instead of 10. And leave it about 40 millimeters a second and see how it does. Now you can see here it's actually going through and doing something. It doesn't take too long. These are tiny little, tiny little squares. And now it's going to cut it out. And so far, even with all that work it did in the middle, I still don't see any sort of uh, distortion or shrinking of it. Problem is, though, once we pick it up and take a look at it, uh, even at that low power, it seems to have cut all the way through on that middle. You see the pieces sticking out there. So, we're going to have to give it a shot again. This time, I'm going to leave it at about, I'm still going to leave it at 15% power. Uh, we're going to increase the speed from 40 millimeters a second to about 80 millimeters a second. And hopefully this will allow it to actually engrave without cutting all the way through. That, you know, that way you're not dumping as much power over any given point for as long. And this is going to be the exact same pattern as well. So now it is working on the uh, engraving portion again. Also, there is one side that is sanded on this uh, shrink film, and then there's another side that is completely smooth. Uh, the sanded is, uh, portion is there so you can color on it with colored pencils and markers and it'll actually stick. And uh, I've been cutting this uh, with the clear side up the entire time. I don't know that it actually makes a difference. And I, re I really don't think it does uh, as to whether or not you cut with the clear side up or the sanded side up. But uh, not all, not all sh uh, shrink film comes with uh, one of the sides sanded. You can see now that it's been cut out that even at the lowest power, double the speed of before, it is still cutting out the pieces. It's just not cutting them out as neatly. Either way, we will set it aside and we will see how it shrinks when we set it in the oven. Now I've loaded up the other piece of that shrink film that I cut with the scissors and I had laid down a piece of aluminum on the top and bottom. Uh, the shriek film has a natural curl to it, even on a piece that you just pulled out of the package. It's got a got a curl to it. It doesn't sit flat necessarily on a table or a desk. And those are just there to hold it down while it goes through and cuts. 
you could tell right off the bat here that there are some issues going on right up there at the top on those smaller skinny pieces it's hard to tell whether or not that is due to the fact that it is shrinking at some of the finer points or if whether or not it is the air that's blowing through the nozzle of the laser to, that's pushing it around or a combination of both uh, but this will show you that you got to kind of leave out a lot of detail when you're cutting this shrink film it does not does not handle detail very well as you can see So now it is cutting the whole thing out, and I can tell you right off the bat here that uh, it did mess up on a couple spots. Uh, just by, you know, you can see it, that a couple pieces shifted, and I don't know if whether or not that was due to the air, or if that was due to the heat, or a combination of both, but it's just one of those things to keep in mind that you can't get too fine a detail on this stuff when you're trying to cut it out with the laser, because it will have problems. Now this is another piece that I wanted to do some more basic shapes, just to see and make sure that you know some basic shapes will work just fine. Uh, this is going to be a small picture frame, you can kind of picture it like that, it's got a couple squares at the top and an oval at the bottom, and then it'll cut the whole thing out. I wasn't going to include this in the video, but it did actually have a problem at the end I wanted to show you that that is something to keep in mind while you're working with the stuff. Okay, so it is cutting the whole thing out now, and keep an eye on the top left corner of the sheet. You'll see as it goes through it cuts that it really starts to warp, uh, so that's just one of those things to keep in mind while, while you're cutting the stuff. But, I mean, beyond that, the actual piece of cut, pretty much flawless, it looks really well. Also, this stuff is kind of a pain to pick up off this honeycomb laser bed. <laughs> the struggle is real. Okay, so I didn't do too good of a job with the lighting uh, inside of my toaster oven. I, but I did want to give you a glimpse of what the stuff does. Now, this is all in real time. Uh, as soon as you put the pieces in the preheated oven, they pretty much immediately start shrinking. You just want to leave it in there for, I don't know, 30 seconds or so until they are all flat. And it's done. That was in real time. And then here's that really complex piece. I knew at this point that it, was <laughs> it wasn't going to survive. And there's no real way to fix that. It's, it's done for. And it doesn't really progress a whole lot more past that. Like I said, in the future, I will need to, if I ever have to film inside my toaster oven again, I will have to move it because the reflections off of it are horrible. And here are the pieces at the end. Now, the square that it, uh, the very first square we cut out looks perfectly fine. Nothing wrong. But you can see in these pieces that have the detail cut out that they did not really come out very well. That's the better one. But anywhere that those thin strips are, are pretty much just warped beyond uh, recognition. And here's that swirl that completely failed. And then you also have the uh, picture frame off to the left here. And that turned out well. It, it, that would have been just fine had I had a you know flat surface to bake it in. And that can still be fixable. You can just heat it up and flatten it out. But in the end, I'd say yes, you can cut uh, shrink film with a laser. <laughs>